Hey traders from around the world, what's going on? It's me, Ricky Cadden, back again for your Thursday Real Life Stock Review for Real Life Trading Australia. Hope you guys have had an amazing week. It's Friday here in Australia and let's have a look at what happened in the Thursday US session. So on the SPY, we had a small gap up and as you can see, we really have just been trading within a small range over the last few days. Now, we did break higher with volume. So could this potentially go higher? Absolutely. Me personally, I think that that's that a lot of this buying came from a lot of the short sellers. Um, however, the market is still bullish, guys. Just keep on looking to buy these dips. We had a really nice dip buying dip buy back here. If you look at the short term moving averages, back down, you know, just below the 20 or around the 20 was a very, very nice location to dip your toes back in the water. So the SPY still looking bullish, not turning down bearish just yet, even after the news on the impeachment. So uh, stay long on the markets. Let's take a look at the E-minis. Now the E-minis is doing pretty much exactly the same thing. We are just getting this nice little dippage back to the 20 and then cruising on higher. I do hope that we can kind of consolidate sideways for a little bit longer and then catch the 10 EMA and then that would be a very nice dip buying dip buying location. Even a small pull back down to the, down to the 20 again would be absolutely amazing. Want to have a look at some stocks here? Talk of the town, Tesla, uh, absolutely crushing higher. Look at this, making a brand new all-time high today. Absolutely incredible. Elon doing some amazing things. You knew this was going to happen. I don't know why everyone was so bearish on this company, even back down here. Uh, however, Tesla, great company. They are doing some great things for this world and. The, uh, the last time I did speak about this, guys, was back here, and I said that, realistically, if this breaks below that level, uh, we would get a nice little pullback to the 50 and then probably bounce. However, after seeing this big bullish, these couple of bullish candles here, this was most definitely, unquestionably going to go higher. So, a lot of real-life traders making some money on Tesla these last few weeks, very, very exciting news, and if you're out there and you're one of them, then well done to you. Wanna wanna have a look at some couple of long-term opportunities here, guys. Baidu, B-I-D-U. Now, if you take a look at the weekly chart, I'll just bring on this long-term moving averages. Sorry, you can see a gorgeous inverted head and shoulders pattern right now as we speak. And on the monthly chart, what you can see is that we are actually at a very nice value area to go long. So if you're a long-term investor and you're looking at buying, uh, Baidu is a very nice long-term opportunity. So Baidu, stay long on this one, guys. Don't look too short this one. If you take a look at the monthly chart, you can actually see right here, there's a lot of people getting trapped right there with that with that beautiful long, long lower shadow. Um, but... That wasn't one of us, so let's keep on buying this dip. Another long-term opportunity, guys, Shake Shack. Now, I personally love Shake Shack. Last time I was in the States, I ate a lot of their burgers and drank a lot of their shakes. Now, as you can see on the long-term, uh, sorry, on, on the weekly chart, you, you can see here, we are at the 100 simple moving average on a weekly chart. We have also had an amazing pullback from the all-time highs of about 44% just since September. So if you were one that bought in September, um, I mean, you could probably look to average down again, but I hope you bought put options on this big fall. Uh, but if you are looking to buy, you are buying it 40% cheaper than just two months ago or three months ago. So Shake Shack looking absolutely glorious. And on the daily chart, you can see here, if I zoom in, we are building a very nice, very nice double bottom here off this support at 58.04, which is based off this particular low here and this range right here. So Shake Shack looking really, really great for a long-term opportunity, guys. Have a look at this volume coming in. 
I did mention, I have mentioned this before, uh, but this one is definitely a bull that you do not want to miss. So keep an eye on that, on that one. Got a request for OHI, Omega Healthcare. Now on the daily chart, we did create a nice little Morningstar reversal pattern. We are kind of just chopping around sideways here. Um, and I do get that if you do want to buy off this 100 simple moving average, I totally understand. I could respect that as a very nice dip buying, op uh, dip buying location. What I want you to take a look at is the weekly chart. So this particular level right here, if this gets taken out, then most likely we are probably going to come back down to, um, we're most likely going to come down to at least the highs of $38, um, which would be very nice if because the 100 simple moving average will slowly come into play. Um, but just maybe tiptoe into this one, we have created a lower high, so we are losing a little bit of strength here. Um, but if you'd like to buy off the 100 on a daily chart, then this is a very nice dip buying location, but personally, uh, we have, I do like to buy off the 200 because as you can see here, we have actually closed below the 100 before and then come back down to the 200. So this could very well just, you know, trade sideways for some time, a little bit like what happened back here. Uh, so just keep that in mind and definitely look to buy the dip on this one. I just think you could probably get it a little bit lower. So. OHI is at a support level, just if it does break that particular level, look to wait a little bit longer. Let's take a look at Apple. Now, Apple's still just going sideways up here. It makes a lot of sense for us to kind of pause. I do think we are going to have a pullback very, very shortly. It does seem in imminent. Uh, we are getting fairly, fairly extended here. I'm not saying Apple doesn't make money. Apple makes absolute ton of money so I, I get that they are a growing company and they are doing really really well but I just personally want to buy the dip and I would love to buy off the 50 EMA so Apple still looking bullish just look to buy the dip guys we are getting pretty pretty high Let's take a look at the all the all odds uh, ticket symbol XAO now right now we are just back at the all-time highs again just kind of rejecting it slightly having a little bit of a dip Hopefully, uh, if we do come back down to the 20 and we can kind of break out of this pennant pattern and start to create some new all-time highs and start crushing higher, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, but for the most part, guys, we are just trading very, very sideways at the moment. Let's take a look at CBA. Now, I mentioned back here that, we, that you could look to sell an 82 or 83 covered call on your long-term positions as this is a selling location. So if you did sell uh, a covered call on your long-term positions, then this little, you would be absolutely loving this little dip, creating a little bit of income for you guys. And uh, most likely CBA is just going to cruise on a little bit more sideways, probably come back down to the 100, I'd say, and then look to buy the dip. Let's take a look at Harvey Norman, ticker symbol HVN. Now, right now we are at a support level. We are looking still fairly weak and we are right at the 200 on the daily chart. So this is a buy the dip location uh, on the weekly chart. There's a little bit of selling here, guys. We have got some very nice long upper wicks on the weekly chart. Last three weeks have been fairly bearish. I do think we could probably come a little bit lower. We are at a resistance level here too, based off these particular highs right here. And we are obviously rejecting that level once again. So Harvey Norman, just dipping a little bit longer, guys. I think we could probably uh, probably get it a little bit lower. If, we get, if it comes back down to 391, which is not too far away, mind you, that'll be off this, this particular support level right here. That would be a very nice buying location. Take a look at BHP. Now, I also mentioned sell cover calls back here at around $40 or $40.50. We are currently sitting at $39.73. So if you did sell a covered call on your long-term positions, then well done to you. BHP is cruising on higher, and I do expect us probably to most likely come back down to the 200 and then trade sideways a little bit longer. And last stock to look at is, wow, and I have mentioned 
Woolworths back here was going to come back down to the 100 and rest for a little while and trade sideways for some time. I did say it was going to look somewhat like this. And right now we are back at the 100. So most likely I would not be buying here. If you are looking at accumulating a position on this because you love Woolworths, I get that. You know, you probably buy some shares here. And then if we do kind of pyramid into the into this particular trade, buy some here, buy a little bit more and a little bit more and then increase the size. If we get it back down to the 200, that would be absolutely incredible. Uh, it would be a very nice dip buying location. Right now we have had a pullback of, you know, not, not a great deal of about 6%, but Woolworths is definitely one to hold long term. If you take a look at the weekly chart, um, we are we did break out and we are currently retesting. However, I do think that we need a little bit of a rest after you know just since this year we have already traded up 42% just from the start of the year. So a lot of people will probably look to take their profits up at these levels. Just keep that in mind. Let's take a look at some commodities, crude oil. Still stuck at the 100 simple. Uh, not a whole lot happening here. That's a 100 simple on the weekly chart. Still at this particular resistance level. We have had a very bullish run the last few weeks or the last month, so to speak. Uh, but I still think that we need a little bit of a rest on crude and definitely look to buy the dip. Fuel is definitely getting expensive here in Australia, almost hitting $2 per litre. Uh, so this is... Uh, Probably one way to kind of make your money back, I guess. <laughs> Try to make some money on oil. So, yeah, keep that in mind, guys. Gold, not doing a whole lot. Still trading within this range. I have said before, look to sell high, buy low. And if we do come back down to the 200 or if the 200 just slowly, you know, creeps up, and this just keeps trading sideways, then that would be the time to look to go long. Um, but for the most part, guys, I'm I'm staying away from gold. There's not a whole lot of action. It's very, very sideways. And especially in the futures market as well, it's just not that big of a range and there's not that much volatility. So I tend to stay away from these uh, that particular commodity. And last but not least, let's take a look at the Aussie dollar. Aussie dollar, once again, at the 200, are we going to reject this and then come back down? Who knows? We are currently at this particular resistance level, so it makes sense that we do come back down. However, I have said in my last reviews that most likely if this is going to start breaking higher or maybe we're going to start finding value down here, it makes sense because we are creating these higher lows. So. Keep your eyes on the Aussie dollar, guys. If we do start to break above the uh, above the 200 and then we come back down to retest and start to create another higher low, I would be looking to go long on the Aussie dollar. So keep that in mind. Aussie dollar is just finding its value down here at between 69 and 68 cents. That's all I've got for you today, team. I will be back next week on Tuesday with another Real Life Stock Review. If you want me to review any tickers, leave it in the comment section below. You're amazing. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. And I'll be back for you guys next week. Enjoy your weekend. Love life, live life, and trade it. And I'll see you soon. Bye.